my name is Joe Kaiser. I'm 40 years old. I'm from a small, small town in South Jersey right across the Delaware River from Philadelphia. I'm a photographer and also enjoy riding electric skateboards. Both of my passions intersect with each other. When they do, I found myself deep in my own glory and absolutely love it. Now being a photographer in public, I've come across situations where people have tried to violate my civil rights, even with police backing them up. I want to tell you the story of the night when ExxonMobil did indeed take it too far and policed a county road paid for by your and my tax dollars. They used intimidation tactics as well as the police to try to stop me from videotaping on this public road. This is just one example of the issues I have with them and such a tiny example of thousands across America each and every day. Beautiful. Welcome to the documentary series, Use It or Lose It. You have to use your rights or you just may lose your rights. What is this person going here? Is coming now. Who's that? Here he come right there. Okay. He wants to just talk to you. Oh yeah? Yeah. About what? I'll get out too. About what? There he is, right there. This was one night when I was traveling down the county road that ExxonMobil Refinery is located on. As you can see, there is a plain unmarked vehicle following me and trying to get my attention. I was unaware of who was in this vehicle and what their intentions were. I would also like to note that it's pretty late at night. I did realize once I looked back and saw the security vehicle what was going on. I think it's completely ridiculous that they stop and harass people going on about their business traveling down that road. You don't see me doing that to them when they drive down my street. You could clearly see I was holding a small video camera and I had it pointed towards me as I was narrating. Somebody over in the middle of a road. It doesn't look very safe here. No man. I don't appreciate this. No, you can't be can't, I, you can't be recorded around here either. This That's why I'm telling you. That's the, 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 what law is that? What law? You can't, you can't be recording around here. What law is that? They're not uh oh here we go. Here we go, Doc. What what law is this? I'm gonna tell you. You're jeopardizing because my I'm safety. Trying, I'm dead. How are you jumping out of my safety? Look at the car. I'm, I'm trying, trying to ride. To you to stop, to stop, but you keep rolling. Listen, I'm trying to travel here. This is my civil right. Let me do it. Thank you. I pose no immediate threat to anyone. I was just a guy out there with my camera doing my thing. We're going to have to get some uh, license plates here. Are you assisting him? Huh? Are you assisting him? What are you doing, boss? Okay, that's what I thought. What am I doing? Well, I'm obviously using a video camera here. That's why I'm saying, hey, talk to you. Like you don't even want to talk to nobody. No, it wasn't a safe situation. I don't appreciate you driving up on me like that. How it wasn't a safe situation. New Jersey, URR, 10K. What are you talking about? I'm just doing my job. I work here. Now you're being incited. How am I being excited? How? You're coming to me in my face. Did I come you? No. I'm trying to ride by and you came at me. I don't appreciate that. All right? I'm glad you explained yourself. What's up, Josh? Unbelievable. This is what they do. Contact Homeland Security and find out whether or not I'm allowed to videotape. How's that? Know what you're talking about first. All right, no, I'm trying to separate myself because I don't want to be near you. I'm scared for my life. Thank you very much. Goodbye. I said what I had to say. I told them to contact Homeland Security because this isn't the first run-in I've had with these people. At first, I was convinced that they did really have a point and I did do something wrong. Knowing the laws on photography in public, it didn't make sense to me though. I went ahead and did some research and found that Homeland Security actually comments on issues like this and they do back up our right to videotape and photograph from public areas. This refinery has an international port, so Homeland Security is very much part of operations at the plant. 
I have not yet to this day ever had Homeland Security stop and say anything to me. They just drive by like I'm not here. He thinks he's gonna follow me home. I want him to call the cops. That's all, I was going by the speed radar. Trying to get my uh, miles per hour and then he comes driving up against me all hard like man. And now they're following me, whatever that means. I proceeded to leave the scene and no sooner do I leave, so do they. I rode through the neighborhood for a few minutes in no one direction in particular, but towards some light because it's dark back there. Who knows what these people are capable of Look what they do to someone that has a video camera out on a road you and I pay for. I headed towards the bright spot I could see, but all of a sudden, there you go. There's a vehicle there that cut me off. Look who it is and how confident he is that he's right. It's always wait till the cops get here. They want the police to help them abuse their neighbor. Let's see what this idiot has to say now. Here we are here, still following me. I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate it. You don't need to know what I'm doing. Paulsboro Refining Company LLC 075, don't worry about it. You have a problem, call Homeland Security. Listen, the eyes can't trespass. I wasn't videotaping anything but myself. The eyes can't trespass. I was on public property. Know We're your law. The, the, the anything in the Just say I was. It doesn't matter. I'm not allowed to. Check with Homeland Security. You're not allowed to videotape infrastructure that's important. Who says what law? It, there's there's Tell me the law. law. Tell me the law. The law. sign is not a law. Tell me the law. Okay. Tell me which law. Which when sign? What? Sign. When does the sign predict the law? When, when the Explain it to me. Okay. Explain it to me. Okay. Explain it to me. When the cops get here, Thank you very much. Whoever your guy was representing you guys in the escape put my life in danger, plain and simple. Alright? Why is that? Why? You want to review the tape and we'll find out why? What do you mean why? You didn't see what he did? This wasn't your vehicle? Oh, you must have missed it then. I get it. And here I go on my electric skateboard trying to distance myself from these completely insane people who wish they had authority over me, my camera, on a road that you and I pay for. The next stop is a well-lit parking lot. I would have already called the police, but I had no phone. Anyway, Captain America said the cops were going to tell me. They should be coming. Now that I got a little bit more light up here, I was hoping these guys would follow me, but I guess they're not. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <sighs> These guys from the refinery call you? How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. These guys from the refinery call you? Yeah. Thank God. They got me shaking, man. The guy tried to run me off the road in some escape. Then they follow me all over town, asking me if I'm videotaping their infrastructure. Well, I don't know what you're doing, taking photographs. Whenever he goes on at the refinery, Homeland Security and all that. I asked him to please contact Homeland Security, stop following me. Let it be law enforcement's problem if there's an issue. But they wouldn't stop following me. Right, well, okay. Tried to run me off the road well, twice. Whatever I don't know what the security does over there, but that's the reason why they can't have any. That guy got me shaking. I'm serious. I was seriously scared. That's why we're stopping. It's, it's I came up here, honestly, just to get away from them. Right, well, I wanted to get in some light here. I obviously have a video camera. I tried to make my complaint to the police officer, but right here is where I realized everything is against me, and my complaint meant absolutely nothing. Or not, I don't care. Homeland Security has protocols when it comes to refineries and fuels and sure. the river and all that. I don't know. That definitely wasn't Homeland Security. They are security for the refinery, but they have rules with Homeland Security. Sure. The nature of what they do. Absolutely. You're not the only person that we've stopped and spoken to. It's been numbers of people. Wait, what? Numbers of people? 
Did we hear that correctly? You're not the only person that we've stopped and spoken to. It's been numbers right. of people. No, what's the deal with them? Unfortunately, they have to. Have do they know the law? Okay. Listen, apparently they do. That's right. You heard me. I asked, do they know the law? And he said, apparently they do. So what is the law here? You know what? This just goes completely south. I was trying to make a complaint. Now it turns into an investigation on me. I turned off the camera so I could have a real talk with the cop. Nothing really seemed to work out. All it did was piss me off and I just wanted to get out there. I'll let you guys listen to the rest of it. I don't think you're doing any harm or you have any intent to do any harm. I don't. But they have, you can't breach their security. You're not allowed to take photographs. You're not allowed to have videos. I certainly, I, Whatever listen, it is, I'm not trying to, ar I'm not, e I'm not even trying to argue anything here. I'm really not. That's it. That's I was trying to go about my business well, unfortunately, and they, do what I got to do. When they call down to speak to my chief of police and he wants to know who I spoke to and I don't have that information. And he's going to want your ass. What's my name? What, what's Come on, buddy. Hello. We'll stay here all day. Okay. Because you're not going nowhere. It's good and if you don't, I'm going to charge you with obstruction of justice. Really? Yes, we are. Obstruction of justice? Oh, obstruction, right, because you're, you're obstructing me. From All right, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Give me your name. My That's name's it. Joe. Move on your way. Joe K. How's that? No. If you give Come me on! Oh, unfortunately, give me wrong right. name. Now I'm going to put you in handcuffs. Really? Yes, really. Because now I'm identifying now you're, myself. Right, you're yourself. Correct. Ah, yep. okay. Joe Kaiser. K-Y-S-E-R. I wish I was able to give some great ending to the story here, but unfortunately I can't. At this point, I couldn't wait to get away from this police officer. Who knows what else he was capable of making up. Two years later, I was on the same exact road, getting some B-roll for this documentary specifically. And sure enough, the police show up. The security guards still have not changed. I really can't complain about the contact I'm about to have here with these police officers. If I have to endure a stop, well, this is about how the way it should go. Hey, what's up? Everything all right? Yeah. You for yeah. me? Uh, yeah, we got uh, a call. You were out videotaping or, or taking pictures or whatever, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're just coming to check it out. Wait, hold on. You got a call that I was videotaping or taking pictures? Yeah. Like a yeah. 911 call or like what kind of no, call? No, call from security. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Uh, so, so what's that? What's that ultimately mean? Like, well, these are critical infrastructures as defined under Homeland Security. Are they really? So yes. So you know, anytime when there's wow. videotaping, photographing, or any really? kind of activity like that, uh, the security usually calls us. I think they contacted Google yet? Google? Yeah. Did you ever see the Google map? Of here? Yeah, Paulsboro? No, why? Very detailed. Uh, it's what? weird that they, that just doesn't make sense to me. What's that? The road, this is very detailed, this road. So I was checking it out before they paved it and then after they paved it. And very detailed. So they call the cops on me for out here. But I'm, I'm just, I'm a photographer and I'm just trying to get it. I've been doing this for decades. Just trying to understand how that works. If you watch carefully, you'll see security drive by several times. I think they're just waiting to see me be put in handcuffs so they can pull over and talk some smack. See something, say something? You know, pretty much, they, right? right? Hmm. It's interesting. So, uh, it's interesting. Yeah, so we just come out, make sure, you know, nothing illegal is uh, taking place. Is photography illegal? No. Okay. How, how would it be illegal? In what sense? Like, just say... If you're violating any traffic. They called, they called for video and photography. Okay, so if I was maybe stopping traffic out here? Okay. Or like using it as a weapon, I guess, or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Which is the usual. Uh, yeah, but. I don't know how you use the cameras. No, I don't know either. Yeah, no, I was thinking more along the lines well, of like actually, I probably, actually, I probably could think of a few ways to use it as a weapon. Well, I'm Definitely. Sure. I'm sure you can hurt me. If no, no, not it. physically. Like, well, not physically. Maybe mentally. Catch somebody on camera they're not supposed to be doing. You know? Then sure. all of a sudden their life's... Man, they're hurt then, right? Right. Yeah. No, I was just... I don't know.
I'm a photographer. I, I think about these things. I what, think about these things. What do you think about? About videotaping in public. I mean, there's been a few times where it's like people have been weird about it. Like, almost like the camera is a weapon. That's how I feel. Like, that's how they're acting towards it. And I, and I, I, try, I try to understand it. That's why I'm asking questions. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, people aren't into photography or videotaping. Might not understand. Yeah. Yeah, might we not all understand. have them nowadays, though. You know, we all have them on our cell phone. Yeah, we all have them. Snapchat. But we don't all use them in the same ways. Yeah. Uh, sure. You know yeah. Uh, you know, so, I mean, yeah. but yeah, I mean, you're not uh, trespassing or interfering with traffic or anything like that, right? No, I could see him That's calling right. if I was doing something like that. Yeah, for just video or photography. So I can't wrap my head around. Right. If I was trespassing and maybe you, they describe me having a camera, yeah. Bingo, there's the guy. If I was out here laying in the road, bingo, there's the guy. There's someone taking video and photography and this is critical here can't be that critical in all honesty no. do, do you see what I'm saying like you don't know yet it's on Google because you said you haven't looked but I'm telling you you can see this road plain as day clear better probably than my camera get more detail of what's going on here than I ever would <clears throat> you know I just uh, curious to no, I understand what you're saying about you know, Google. I know, yeah. you know, I know street Like if the Google whatever, car came by with that, you'd like call the police like this car's coming by. You know what I mean? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they did. Yeah. So wow. put, it, put it that way. <laughs> wow. I mean, look, like you guys, you know, you guys are working here. You know what I mean? Like you're, it's appreciated to be out here doing what you're doing and not stopping to mess with me and my video camera <laughs> you know what I mean that's that's nerve-wracking on on the same well, I'm not messing with I you, guess so I, no I'm you're just, not messing with I'm me just you're not that, messing with me at all yeah I appreciate that's service, why you know, yeah so. you seem like a pretty nice guy I figured I would ask you have a YouTube channel or anything yeah, like yeah, that? yeah oh, really Joe Kaiser.com that's me oh, okay yeah Joe Kaiser yep K Y okay. K Y S E R okay yeah all right. Well, that's it for today. This is Joe Kaiser signing off. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Use It or Lose It. Please stay tuned for more great episodes to come based on people from all across the United States with awesome stories to tell. Remember, you have to use your rights or you just may lose your rights.